Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. Keep voting, keep voting. And 53% said Shakur Stevenson. And uh, the runner-up is uh, Arizlani Lara with 38%. Corey Spinks mm. got 6%. And Frank Sanchez got 2%. So basically one vote. <laughs> Everybody voted like that. You know it's a good poll when every name has a vote. Yeah. Like that should hit somebody. Like, like Frank Sanchez pissed off somebody watching his fight. Like... Like, God damn it, you running ass heavyweight motherfucker. And Corey Spinks, I mean, I know, I know most people to this day say Corey Spinks, uh, he ran against, um, uh, everybody except DeAndre Lattimore. <laughs> and he got Dude, DeAndre Lattimore is a forgotten fade. That was a good fucking fight. Spinks, one of the rare times where Spinks gets dropped and hurt, and he gets up and he stands in the paint and he lets them hands go. Like, I got it on VHS somewhere. Yeah, I mean it was, yeah. it was a it was a split decision. Like, yeah, that shit was like, yeah, like that was that was, a, that was one of the unexpected tough fights. But then, you know, yeah. it goes. But, it, but it, see, the, the thing that used to kill me about Spinks, some uh, Corey Spinks, sometimes, like he stood, he stayed in the pocket with Zab Judah of all people in the first fight. It was able to outbox him. I mean, I mean, he got dropped, yes, but you know, he was able to drop return that. But then, you know, obviously, he he did run against Mayorga. I'm not gonna lie to you, like. He, he 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 piled up the points and then he ran. He ran like a <laughs> motherfucker. But yo, he had one of the best in, uh, ring walk entrances of all time with the damn. Winelli? I used to that. You know Winelli? When he was in St. Louis, his home. I'm talking about the Mayorga one. Because oh, remember, right. the Mayorga one is the first time he really started doing the dance. And he was yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. like, that used to kill that shit. He'd be like, oh, man. Like, yeah, the, the Nelly one is when he was like, okay, now I'm famous and y'all niggas know me and shit. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, this shit! This nigga was literally fall. He was jumping out of the way and falling on the floor to avoid punches. I've never seen no shit like that. I was like, motherfucker. Uh, but hold on, let, let's go down. Let's go around the table. Uh, Pat, who you vote for? Um, uh, I voted for um Laura, of course. Yeah, the Laura, Laura fucking ran, bro. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, he, he was a runner, runner. Yeah, yeah, Laura, Laura was definitely my choice because, like I said, there was, uh, I mean, there was too many fights. I mean, I know most people say Corey ran, but Corey didn't run. I, to me, Corey didn't run as much as Laura did, especially in. in no, the, Corey, Corey didn't, didn't, move around, didn't run like that. I mean, it's early. To early well, Corey Laura. fucking ran, nigga, but but Laura, La, Laura ran against people that was as good as him or better, which yeah. it's a character flaw to me if you got to run against. Niggas on your level, like I mean, he, I mean, Laura ran against Murray Rosian of all fucking people. Like <laughs> he what? felt Murray Rosian was on his level. Like there's a pattern with Laura. Like you see, this is why I couldn't vote for Laura because Laura gets guys out of there who's beneath him. Well, well it's a recency bias because you know Shakur is is kind of you know has a stigma now that he's a you know afraid. Yeah, of it's right. more than a recency yeah. bias because well, 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 Laura, real quick, let me hear me out. Laura, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, my bad. Laura, you know, originally was a Cuban school boxer, but since he's been at 160 and a little older, not using his legs, he literally has become, you know, matter of names, he literally has become a stationary counter punching KO artist. I mean, he doesn't move around. He's been, he's not against D level I mean, niggas. Well, I'm saying he's not like, he's not like, I mean, he's on a KO streak. I know. Well, against niggas, he should be getting out of there. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, he's and, doing what he's, and see, that's the point I'm making. Like, Sakura Stevenson, he's running from niggas that he's far superior over and that is the worst thing in the world oh, no, I, voted for I agree i voted for, for Shakur. yeah i, I did too because if we're gonna get at fury for not taking some of these crackheads serious and, and these pub fighters serious and and you know and you're you're so superior and you're damn going life and death with these niggas yeah we gotta get at this nah. we gotta keep it real with Sakura Stevenson too I find it, don't you? I feel like I'm the only person that finds it concerning that he had, the, you know, he did drop Nakatila, um, you know, in that fight. But he had to apologize on Twitter for the performance, and then he had the Edwin performance that was worse. It, like, is it weird that he doesn't want to engage with certain guys? It just feels weird to me. I, I keep know. telling you, this motherfucker don't have no defense. He just fucking fast, and he just jumps out of the way and punches and backs up. Trust his chin. Just, I mean, that, now he got good defense. I just think he don't trust his chin. I no, he just got good reflexes. Defense is actually 
defending no, fucking flipping no, punches. I think I think he's only I think he's only good at mid range, unfortunately. And one too close distance, he doesn't know how to properly defend. No, so he just scoots out. He for, and, and I can't call that defense. No, I'm saying he, but he walks people down. He feel like they're kind of uh, feathered properly. Feathered. Properly defending yourself at mid range is not the same as properly defending yourself in close quarters. Close he range. can't defend himself in. Close but what I'm saying with Shakur is and he's he'll showing like, He'll he's versatile. Like he'll walk down. He'll walk down to Yoshino. You know, he walked down Oscar a little bit. Valdez, even though he kind of you know. Yeah, and then he would run for Valdez in certain spots too. It's like, dude, this. He only walked down maybe a handful of niggas. He know he was just so much better than, and he yeah, his foot just hurt him. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's against against guys that crack, he yeah, I just feel like it's kind of weird. I, just, I don't know. But it don't matter if you can't if you could crack or not. If a nigga better than if you better than a nigga, you better than him. No, you shouldn't be. You, you, know, you see Saunders run around Lemieux all night. Yeah, no, you should be getting these niggas out of there. I mean, you know, exactly, or at least, or at least be pitching them the Joe hard- Calzaki shutouts against niggas. Like you, you, you're literally beating the shit out of somebody. Like I don't so, get that from Secure. A few years ago, I felt like Shakur was on trajectory. You know, he was right there with with Tank. Of you know, in terms of popularity and stuff, Devin was a little a little behind. But I feel like in, now in recent times, Shakur's like star has dimmed a little bit. He's number terms, three. Like, no, I mean, well, I mean and, and and whose fault is that? No, of course. His man. fucking fault. But what I'm saying is, you know, Haney, um, Tank, Ryan, they're all mixing it up, you know, pay per view, big, really big fights, you know, and this nigga fucking Shakur is, you know, ruining casual boxing when niggas is tuning in on Thursday and, you know, watching a track meet. You know what I mean? Like, it's bad luck. <laughs> yeah, out of all those so called alleged kings, like, like, Tia Fimo and Shakur Stevenson are, like, really, like, the ones we don't to give a fuck about. But he wasn't, he, was, he wasn't even an original king. He was not part of the original four. He was kind of. He was kind of grouped in there. Newsflash: None of these niggas was fucking king. Yeah, That's I why know, I said a legend. No, they're jesters. I, I they're jesters. Right. It was just they, the young, they, they, the young they, new they, niggas. They they're made five, it, five uh, jesters. All I'm saying is they made it a concerted effort to shoehorn him into the talks when he had nothing to do with these talks. Like with the, yeah, uh, he's always, he's always a wait behind. He was always a wait a wait or two behind. You know when when, when they were mixing it up. Now he was like he's like fifteen steps forward with all the running he do though, <laughs> so, so it's, it's balancing out. But but yeah, that's the difference. If you run it against niggas that are super inferior to you, that's when it's a, a character flaw. That's when it's bad because it's like, bro, like what are your skills for if you're gonna run from this nigga? Like that's why I had to, you know, at least guys like Laura and Corey Spinks and Sanchez, they mucking it up with niggas on their level. Hey, shut up real quick. Who'd you vote on the poll um, in regard to Loma's next fight in, in, in this topic? I'm just wondering, who'd you vote for? Uh, do you need me to repeat that one, or who would you vote for that one? Can you recall? Uh, God damn, you know. Let me let me check my Twitter to to, to make sure I voted on that. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, why are you doing that, Alexa? Just the whole course. I mean, the only fight that Corey that Corey Spinks ran in that kind of kind of broke my heart a little bit was that Carlos Molina's fight because Carlos Molina obviously is a lighter puncher than Corey Spinks and. Carlos Miller was beating the shit out of Spinks to the point where Spinks was running just not to get knocked down. Like that was the only yeah. fight ever. I was like, "Yo, this nigga is running, running like, like geez, like." And oh yeah, pilot. Yeah, he he did he did run on like, but then sometimes that ass whooping you just gotta run from, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you ain't gonna fight your, your your parents when they got that belt out. You just run, nigga. Like <laughs> uh, I thought the, the Shakur Tank fight lost a lot. Of, you know. Nobody wants to see that, really, for the most part. I mean, L- Loma's the fucking... Look, you're killing it, but, but to answer your question, um, yeah, you may as well fucking, uh, I'll be, uh, a, uh, 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 yeah, this is, uh, this is, uh, Shutter Pilot, uh, we got a Twitter poll, <laughs> ring gang poll. Who do you want to see Loma fight next? Uh, we got 50 votes, um, we got Shakur Stevenson, with thirty four percent, we got Javante Davis with fifty two percent. We we got Williams Zapata at twelve percent, and we got Vaquero Berenchek winner at two percent. Um, Navarrete couldn't fit, so I had to use his nickname. <laughs> oh, oh, because I'm like, who the fuck is this? Yeah, that's probably why he got no votes. But I couldn't, you know, couldn't fit. Paul, he couldn't really fit. So, um, I, I voted for Williams Zapata, bro. Like, oh, really? Uh, man. Like honestly, because look, all these other niggas is getting their marquee fights. Like Shakur Stevenson had had his Valdez fight. I mean, Tank has had his fights. He got a fight 
Like, look, like Williams have paid us. Somebody got to fight this dude, yo. Like, and yeah, fuck it. Like Williams have paid us. Like that's why I voted for. Yeah, like, man, I feel like it's he it's gives everybody a hard fucking fight. Been killing it. Well, I, I just want to say real quick. The last point is Shakur Tank is a fight everybody wanted, but after Shakur's last performance and Loma getting the knockout, it shifted to Tank versus Loma as the fight to make. You know, still. So it's just kind of yeah, because Loma coming off a knockout is more interesting than uh, coming from a run fest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but <laughs> it's kind of funny how that works. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't mind it at all. Like, fuck it. Like, as long as these guys is mixing it up, hey, it, it, it's all better for the sport. Um, but when they not, you just get a bunch of Twitter beefs and 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 side attractions and shit, which we not trying to have. Like, exactly. like boxing personalities are the only side attractions you really need. The fighters don't need to become that. Also, facts. Uh, oh yeah, Fallen Star. I see you. Let me. Um, do you think Crawford power be enough to to an easy knockout at one fifty four? Like, god damn, no. Wait, what do you ask? He got power, but I don't know if it's just an easy knockout. Madrigal is like, I don't care about the fight, but it's a solid fight. Though. I'm a little worried. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm gonna say I'm a bub stand, but I just feel you know it could be his. You know, I don't know. It could be Madrigal's moment. You never know. Yeah, you, you never know. That that that's true. Um, uh, do you want the Saudis to outright buy top rank so the cards and fighters pipeline is under their control? <laughs> I mean, yeah, what kind of damn screws McDuck like takeover question is that? I mean, right now Bob is pretty much bowing down to his excellency. Like, I mean, his like top rank fighters are already in that dude's pipeline. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it don't even make a difference. Like, like I, I feel like. Um, in a situation like that, I think they're playing the game right. They're, it kind of reminds me of like that peak showtime where they were just like, "Look, man, every every first Saturday of the month, we just giving y'all, we buying the best fight possible, and we giving it to y'all every Saturday, the first Saturday." Right. And sometimes you just need somebody that's just not trying to just control shit, but just give you the best. Mm-hmm. Too much time, too many times in boxing, niggas want to control shit. They want to. I want to get this best fight, this better fighter, this guy. I want to control this guy. I want to see who he could. You know, sometimes we just need somebody to be like, look, man, I've got, I got a suitcase full of money. You're pound for pound number three. You're pound for pound number five. Look, do y'all niggas want to fight? Sometimes you need that energy. You know, everything don't have to be like, all right, uh, let me talk to my people. Then you talk to your people. Then y'all talk to each other people. Then we both come back and talk to my people. Right. And then, um, then uh you're gonna take a, a cut then i'm gonna take a cut then we're gonna have a cold cut then we're gonna have an uppercut then we're gonna have a <laughs> a, 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 a fade cut then no god damn it like no like shit. like sometimes we just want niggas to just make something happen like get, give us that pacquiao spence energy just we just scrolling down the timeline and oh shit. spence yeah. pacquiao july such and such i didn't see that coming like no, 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 so yeah we, you don't always need control I feel like that that ended in terms of abrupt. I mean, for the most part, because the rumors are so strong with it with the Twitter and shit. It's like you kind of know what's 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 next. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the times. Yeah, they take the surprise because because we don't because uh, we need like different. We need more boxing shows and, and boxing related shit to go on. So we're not just hovering around Twitter waiting for every hot take to happen. That's what boxing's missing. Like. You don't have something that just you don't have a boxing TV show or series or anime or video game that's just gonna take at least twenty percent of the boxing fuckery away from Twitter for a moment. Mm-hmm. So everybody just hanging on hot takes like it, and these Twitter beefs is lasting forever now because shit don't be happening. Right. Like, do I give a fuck about Shields and Tank arguing? Like, no. <laughs> that shit got played out the day it happened. Facts. Facts, straight up. I mean, like, what else do niggas want from us? <laughs> so, so yeah, like, nah, they ain't got to control it. Just, just the, the 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 Crawford card in August is like one of the best things they've done. Like, that's the move in the right direction. You know, you can have fights in Saudi, you know, Saudi Arabia. That's cool, you know, do your thing, but you know, put some shit in the UK, put some shit in America, you uh, know. The, the tank this cards really kill the run times. I mean, the tank and Crawford, the, the tank cards pretty pretty stacked too. So you know, that's two really solid cards. That, you know, 
Yeah, like and these and those deserve to be pay per view, but shit like you know, like other shit they be trying to pass off. It's like yo, chill. That's big bozo, no no, nigga. J Nady, like <laughs> chill with that shit. I forgot what fight he said that bullshit in, but yeah, but, um, maybe yeah. a zap fight. But yeah, I think yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> For the- yeah, yeah, we kind of like. Like we was target practice with everything. I appreciate the chat. Niggas had good questions and shit. It was a vibe, so yeah, yeah, it was a good good night, man. You know, got here late. Uh, what time did y'all actually start? Because I'm seeing that yeah, like two hours, twenty three minutes. Damn. Yeah, man. no, we we started like like around like before ten ten or something like that. Like we we. we oh, so y'all niggas okay? That's that's why I was like, damn, these niggas really okay. Yeah, like I mean that's the energy. I rather I rather we kind of start at that time if we can. And if I'm just running late, I'm going to just tell y'all niggas to, you know, to start without me and, um, you know, show the work going to be holding it down. But, you know, for the good of the the good of the good show and the team and, you know, I don't want to be starting at 1035, 1030 all the fucking time. You know, you get a you get a 10, you get a few 10 tens in here sometimes. And that's that's good, yo. <laughs> word, word, word. But yeah, no, so some final thoughts going on before we get up out of here. Uh, P, your final thought? Uh, good, good weekend of boxing. Aside from the money y'all lost, so oh yeah, you know, I, I feel bad for y'all, but you know, it bees like that sometimes. So I can't control we'll get, it. Right? We'll get we'll get him back next weekend. So yeah, I know. But other than that, you know, it is what it is. Ring gang is still here though. We ain't gonna disappoint y'all. We aren't gonna let y'all down. We always gonna come with the with the good boxing content. So you know where to find us at ringgameradio.com, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And just keep following. We got some more good content coming. And stay tuned. Yes, sir. Hey, yo, pilot, your final thoughts? No, I don't got much. Um, shout out to the chat, it was kinda lit. Shout out to my boy Twigs. Um, you know. Shouts out to everybody. Uh, we got a, you know, hit with a dispute. First time in 25 years that Turkey Alley Sheep promo kind of got me a little. Y'all saw, we retweeted it, but it was, it was pretty good. It was, a, it was, I think it was, that was the best promo um, that they did. So yeah, like the, the promos he comes up with are like, like the, they're gold. Like, they, you know, nah, I mean, they, 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 to me, I mean, they're, I'm the biggest fan of them and they're cool, but this one, I, I love, I like this one a lot. Damn, I don't even think I've seen this one. I gotta see it. Like, I feel like this fight has like no fucking buzz at no, all. Watch it, watch it. It's pretty cool. You know, they kind of bring in the whole uh, Holyfield uh, Lewis to you know. Last mm-hmm. time. But anyways, yeah, you know, check us out at Ringing Radio, every platform imaginable. We'll be back soon. Stay safe, everybody. There you go. Hey, LB, your final thoughts? Yeah, um, it was a good show tonight. Um, Boxing on the weekend was cool. Um, Loma seemed like he's back, so that's good to see. Um, looking forward to this weekend of boxing. There's a lot of fights, so hopefully we could get it in. Hopefully the boxing gods bless our parlays and um, right. <laughs> right. see if we get a, a bounce back because, um, you know, it bees like that. You know, you win some, lose some, but you live the bet again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you bet the right way. You live the bet again. So we, we got that pumping. Um, definitely uh, working on more. Because um, I actually, damn, I didn't even, like, this probably maybe one of the first weekends I didn't train anybody or even myself. So I just kind of just locked myself in the room and just worked on the animation. The, um, the Ring Gang uh, episode, um, so I drew about maybe eight pictures. So I just been working on that. Uh, Prolific sent me some shit. It's quality. It's fire. Um, I ain't just there yet to put the little preview out, but it, it, it's dope. Like, um, and just the script coming together. Um, I just got to draw a few more Ring Gang members. I think I'm like halfway. But yeah, it's going to be like a... Um, a pilot focused episode yes sir yeah because since he the 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 new the latest new guy i i know niggas hate me. motherfucker i've been here like two years nigga fuck you like <laughs> but but yeah like um but yeah i'm looking forward to uh 
you know, showing that off and getting that ready. And um, because we try to knock one out each year. And last year was the 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 pizza one was this year or last year? The pizza one was was it this year? I thought, it was, I thought it was last year. No, you know, or maybe it was close enough to last year. Maybe November or something or December. Uh... You know what? Let me go double check. <clears throat> Thankfully, I let's see, rank gang. We last updated uh, the animation. It was oh, it was December. It was December. Okay, so it was it was so close to next year to this <laughs> year. Okay. Yeah, so we we try to we try to do one of the uh, animation once a year at least. You know, it's a lot of work. You got to draw like the gazillion pictures. There's a shooting, to show a nigga getting slammed into a wall or something. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, got more training footage, more shit. Uh, got more uh, little little sparring drills and training drills. More clips I'm gonna be putting up. Um, so yeah, just a lot of shit we, we got. Uh, make sure you're on the TikTok, the YouTube, the Facebook, the IG, all of that shit. Twitter, um, you follow me at the Soul Wars. Always got some more lit shit when it comes to uh, the art, animation, and boxing, and all of that. And trying to get on back, try to get back on this music wave too. Uh, Clan Arky in the lab. So I don't know. This one of those years where everybody's cooking. So you know we gonna. We will provide that that hot plate for y'all, so just stay tuned. That's, that's all I really could say. And um, you know, Pat with the articles and everything. You know, you know, PJ might bust out another seminar. Who knows? But yeah, we in this bitch. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, hey, your gang, so you back when you back when we about to leave? But since you was here before I was here, you know, we appreciate it. Yeah, you know, and then the articles. I mean, like I said, I have two articles in my mind already. One of them. One of which, for the forgotten fans, I've actually I've actually been to. So, like I said, uh, and it's a and it, it, I would say it's a known one, but you know it goes. I mean, actually, that's the object of forgotten fades. Some of them are just not as known as the other ones, but you know it, it's still one of the better. It's still one of the one of the better fights I've ever. That's seen the one. beauty of it, not being that known. Yeah, because you keep in boxing alive because too many motherfuckers just want to. You know, God he wards you to death when it's like, hold on, there's some shit just as good or even better. So. Right. You know, so I'm just gonna pick in between the two. Just gotta make sure the one I want to do, the video is still around. Uh, but outside of that, you know, like I said, you know, we, we, we got we got stuff, you know, in the pipeline or whatever. I know the music. I know people want people will want some variation of the music because, like I said, it's not just like the the, the verses. Like we have like three uh, like three other different types of like music episodes. So it's like. You just never know which one you're going to get. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because the music album reviews, like, I haven't even put anything together. Like, I ain't going to lie. The training has really been taking up a lot of my time. Like, so I got to fucking just fall back to that so we can come up with some more shit, though. Yeah, you know, we got that, you know, the training videos. Like, you know, as I like said, you know, we're, 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 we're creative people. So it's like, and then obviously, you know, you know, as we get to hopefully, get, you know, get some more live event like footage for the for the day too so we can get that type of content out for you because i know that one i know i know some of p stuff that he did last summer when he was out and about you know some of that shit you know people people were fucking with that <laughs> yeah, this nigga king p was trying to get the corner off his dude last year and he was all up in all up in the at least his fight post fight party and everything you know like shit like that so yeah, you know we're, we're, we're working to you know bring bring that content to you and everything like that. And again, you know we thank you for all you know the you know who you know who, who you know who bless our you know, our super chat our super stickers all that our our PayPal. You know obviously you see that you see that banner scrolling across the screen. So yeah, we appreciate your support. You know bringing we just keep bringing to you that you know that ill shit that shit that you want and need in your lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll all be friends, you know? Uh, but yeah, you know, for myself, Pat Scorpio, doing the New England representer, for LB Shuttle with the God the Go artist, for King P. Bodega Pit, for Conscious Pilot, you know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, it shit's real, we talk about it. So, until next time, peace. Peace. Drake can't say nigga no more.